I'm the conductor, or the conductress, as they like to call me, and basically I run all the rehearsals, and um, currently I'm training an assistant. It's just been an interesting experience. Um, and uh, I basically am part of like the backbone of GSO. I would say like I'm one of the vertebrae that, that holds the group together, and I try to do a lot of stuff outside as well just because I'm so dedicated to the group that I try to fill any void that seems to appear, you know. I would say the rehearsals actually because the concert is such a fleeting, you know, experience. It's two hours of your life, but the rehearsals are when you get to laugh with the people and you get to, you know, hopefully not cry with them, but you get to <laughs> experience, you know, lots of different emotions and, and interact with people that you don't know. So just interacting with people that, um, you know, are cool to hang out with, but you also have to deal with, you know, other issues. You know, tiptoeing around those issues is also just a big part of the job, but I really feel like watching people grow is one of my greatest um, joys in life, and that's why I want to be a music teacher, because you know, performing is great, but you're only on stage for a certain amount of time. While as with like a child, you know, maybe in middle school, like you watch them grow up into an adult and you watch them grow up into a musician, you know, or start to. And I feel like that's a really, you know, um, just awesome experience to have. So. I love conducting Chrono Trigger. Cross, that's one of my favorites. Um, it's very interesting because that's actually sometimes how we choose the, the literature, especially when we have um, two conductors. It's, you know, if we're choosing older pieces, it doesn't really, you know, yeah, we want to make the program more of a variety, but it's also like, hey, I haven't had a chance to conduct this yet. I kind of want to experience what it's like to conduct this, and um, it would help me grow as a person, or I just really like the song. So um, I'd say Chrono Trigger. Um, I would say some parts of Shadow are very, you know, it's obviously my arrangement, but, you know, um, it, it's very surprising how doing your own arrangement can actually be much more frustrating because you, you know exactly what it sounds like in your head and then nothing is coming together sometimes and it's very frustrating. But with the other pieces, you're not so attached to them, so you have more room to oh, okay, that's an interesting interpretation. While, while in your own head, you know, it has to be this way with Shadow of the Colossus. It has to be this way because that's exactly how you hear it in your head. So getting them to do what's in your head is a lot harder than it is to just take what they do and make it better from there. I would say the group has gotten a lot more musical, which is not a bad thing. Um, people sometimes uh, don't like that because it causes a competitiveness to sort of assert itself in the ensemble. In order to get better, you have to become more musical. It's just a you know, give and take of being a musician. But other people seem to feel that, no, we don't have to. It's about being a club and it's about having fun. It really forces people to take a very good look at themselves and find their weaknesses and strengths, which I think is you know, a good experience for anybody. Every single individual member takes it differently, I feel. I would say that it's going to be a very different experience because we don't have as many audience members as we're used to. Um, it's more about the venue. That's just sort of the, the big thing. Um, we're not going to have a stage, so it's going to be somewhat rudimentary in presentation, but I feel that the music part of it, you know, and especially because it's very echoey in the hall, which is actually kind of a, um, it's a double-edged sword because it makes everything muddled, but at the same time you get the bathroom effect. It's going to be a really interesting concert. Um, and uh, we have a mixed program, so getting the choir on and off is also going to be an interesting um, experience.